Hey YouTube, so here's a new update as all the old generation v Xeons are getting uh, phased out for any VMware support. We have 6248 NATO. We're going to replace all the 4740s that are have 6138s with 6248s. And then we're going to clean them up now, do the thermal preparation, and uh, clean things up. I like to use my traditional cleaners that I have, and I have tons of thermal paste and more cleaners. So get these off of Newegg pretty good. They clean up things pretty well. And uh, so yeah, let's get started at the first server. Take off any old thermal paste. As you can see, even though I did alcohol uh, isopropyl, it's still more and more thermal paste. Okay, well let's get ready to start, uh, get the one server offline, and then we're going to start a uh, server at a time. Also a part of the CPU upgrade, we're going to be installing uh, Optane NVMe SSDs. So that way we can use NVMe memory sharing. These are all the vExpert uh, giveaway SSDs, so each 740 will get its own of NVMe. There we go, first SERP result opened up. A few dust areas, not too bad. And take some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a little nice soft berry toothbrush. Just for babies, it cleans up very nicely around the chipsets. And uh, we're gonna be installing the NVMe's probably in the slots right here. And uh, there's our Connect X4X and our HBA. Below is the box car. And currently, still the old Xeons in here. But let's get started. Okay, there we go. We got one of the newer CPUs already installed. We're gonna tighten it down one by one. These are torque screws, so they're actually pretty nice. I just do a little bit at a time till I feel that it's super snug, and I tighten it down fully. This one can be tightened. There we go. Sometimes I have to change the bit because the iFixit kits don't get it all the way locked in. There we go. Nice and locked. Now we're going to do the same thing to this CPU, one at a time, as you guys can see I cleaned up most of it, since I don't really need to clean it all the way to the full max, because sometimes you're always going to get dusty, try to get the thick of the dust out, 
Okay, now this one looks tight, and this one should be tight already. because it actually locks into the teeth for any final tightening. Install it in right here. Put it in the middle slot for a better airflow. Since this server has no middle slot, some of my servers do, but all we're going to put all of the NVMEs in the top riser for each server. There we go. Nice and snug. And then we're going to dust it all up and clean it up, make sure it's neat. And then... Let's, we're going to do the same thing for the other three servers. Um, Hi, right, we're back at the server now. And we're going to hook it back up. All these fibers are a part of an SX. Each one has its own tunnel endpoint. Put that in. And then we get our 40 gig one. And the second 40 gig, the first one goes to the top switch. And the second one goes to the bottom switch. Plug in. Plug in iDRAC. And there you can see the NVMe. There we go, it's plugged in. Alright, so that is it for now. We're going to continue the other servers and uh, keep you guys updated here soon.